Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to our series of one shot. Right? It's a shot. You have had capsules. Now it's time for a shot. All right? So, hey, am I clearly audible and visible? First of all, let's just clear it out. Hi, Yasharth. Good evening. Janvi, Lasya, news creators. Hello. I'm good. How are you? So I think you all got to know what the surprise was, huh? Hey, Papiya. Fenil, hello. Suresh. All right. Sir, are ma'am ni. Sir, mentee is not there today. Uh, hey, Nikesh, good evening. Today, uh, it's, it's more like, you know, uh, it's like a marathon. Not like a marathon, I would say. You have been doing the marathon. Today is like a sprint. This is a one-shot session. People who have missed the starting sessions for magnetic effect of electric current, don't worry, it's there. People who are waiting for the next phase or the next content for magnetic effect, it's also there, so don't worry. All right, yes, hey Ashwarya, Sai, Disha, uh, Beckham, nice, nice name. All right, yes, <laughs> Lakshmi Pachana. Yes, all right. <laughs> yes, yes, not the vaccine shots, study shots. All right, so guys, I'm clearly audible and visible, which you have given me a thumbs up. My name is Saurabh Sumesh. And yes, let's start, right? Let's start revising people who have studied this. Let's revise people who are, you know, learning this for the first time learn this properly, you know, because this is one of the most important chapter. When you go forward in 11th, 12th, this is the chapter will trouble you the most and it's the most exciting as well, right? So don't worry. It's very important. Let's learn properly and let's begin. Let's begin with the start. The start was, Sumesh, I think I told this, right? The start was Hans Christian's Oster's breakthrough, right? He found, what happened? Come on. You remember the story, right? He was doing an experiment, haven't studied, it's okay, don't worry, you'll do it. So, what happened? Suddenly, when he passed current through a wire, a compass kept near to it started showing deflection, which means previously people used to believe current is different, magnetism is different, but no, they are related. A current carrying wire shows magnetic behavior also. Yes? All right. Okay, guys, focus, focus, come on. So, a current carrying wire acts as a magnet and electric current produces magnetic field. This is our understanding till now, all right? Okay, I'll just run through this a little quickly, fine. So, just be with me, keep answering whatever you can. Yes, Disha, correct. So, properties of magnetic field lines, guys, come on, this is very easy. Just let me know. First, first property is direction. It is directed from north to south pole outside the magnet but it doesn't mean in between there is nothing. These are, these are closed loop, come on, you know this. And from south to north pole inside the magnet, right? Yes. Thank you, Knight Rider. All right, next. Magnetic field lines form continuous closed curves. This is important, right? This question has been asked multiple times in true, false or, or in some other manner, but this is important, all right? <laughs> okay, degree of closeness of lines remind the strength of magnetic field. This is also important, right? How close the lines are, it shows how strong the magnetic field strength is there, right? At that particular point. Correct? Yes, very good. I can see some answers. Nice answers. Very good. Guys, come on. Keep answering. Keep answering. And no two field lines intersect each other. It's not possible, right? If they are intersecting, this means that point is showing two directions, which is not possible, right? That's why they don't intersect. That's first learning. Now, let's start. Let's start with nice panel. It's a, it's a nice short form. Yes, come on. Magnetic field due to straight current carrying conductor. You know everything, guys. Come on, come on. Keep, keep telling me. Clockwise or anticlockwise, first of all, tell me. Current is going up, right? Current is going up. It will be clockwise or anticlockwise. Come on. Yes, Ashwarya, that's correct. Yes. Oh, yes, I, I'm getting answers. Anti-clockwise, Fennel, you're right. 
So why anti-clockwise? Come on, we know this, right? The, the, which rule? What if they intersect ever? It's not possible. If they intersect, that would mean they have two directions, which is not possible, right? So this is a property. Understand it? It is not possible that they intersect. Fine. Okay. Magnetic flux. Why do you want to understand magnetic flux? It's in class 11th. Right? Amount of field lines passing through a surface area. That's that's different thing. Correct. Right hand thumb rule. What do we do over here? A pattern of concentric circles around the wire represents the magnetic field, which is shown like this. All right. Next. If we have two points, point Q and point P, what is the difference you can notice? The notice, yes, yes, uh, it's okay Sanjay. So, corkscrew law is also fine. I think Yashat, you answered this the last time also, right? I, I, I told you. This is also you can apply, but you know, I feel this right hand thumb rule is more easier, you know, otherwise screwing things, people tend to forget this. All right, point Q and point P, tell me, which one will have more strong magnetic field? Yes, why? Yes, Bhagya, correct. Q is closer. Yes. So as you go far from the current carrying wire, the strength of magnetic field will decrease. This is something which is very important to understand. Fine. All right. At Q, it is more than the field strength at point P. Next question. What if we interchange the terminals of the battery? Or in another way, you can ask, what if we opposite, make the current flow in the opposite direction? Then what will happen? Nice, nice, correct answers, Nikesh, anonymous person, very good, cartoon world, see ya, very good, nice. What will happen if we reverse the terminals of the cell, come on, if we reverse, kya hoga? Yes, 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 now it will be clockwise, that's it, come on, you know this. They will flow clockwise, direction of magnetic field lines gets reversed and direction of current is reversed. Yes, poles change, you are right. Disha, very good. Yes, Ashwarya. Magnitude of magnetic field produces, increases as the current increases. Yes, Ishaat. Nice, Nikesh. Nice and elaborated answer. Good. So, if you want to increase the magnitude, what you can do is increase the current flowing, right? The amount of current flowing, it will increase the, it will increase the strength of the magnetic field, right? So, the rule which was governing all this direction thing is the right hand thumb rule. How to apply it? Everyone? Sanskriti, not today. Let's focus on term 2, right? Extra information we can always gain, don't worry. So, if current is going upwards, mark your thumb upwards and curl your fingers. What is this curling showing you? The direction of magnetic fields. You know this thing. If current is downwards, Thumb is down and curl your fingers, showing the direction of magnetic field. All right, this is very important. You know, you should learn and you should know very clearly how to apply this rule. Right? Okay, nice, Weber. You understood it. Good. Inside and outside plane. Inside and outside plane. Uh, this is coming. So you're asking me if it is going inside the plane or if it is coming outside the plane. Right? Something like this. Yes, yes, Disha. So don't worry, this thing is coming. I'll, I'll explain this to you. So right now, it's not about inside and outside. It's about if in this direction current is going, I'll just point my thumb and curl my fingers. That's it, right? Fine. So the thing inside and outside is this one, right? So when you don't have a straight current carrying wire, but you have a coil, right? What is this? This is like a circle and current is going in this direction. Now to find the direction of magnetic fields, what you need to do is, come on, think, think, think. Here, here current is inwards, right? If you, if you just take a note of your, of your uh, uh, system, if your laptop screen, of your tab screen, whatever it is, think, it is going here, means my fingers are telling me it is going in this direction. The magnetic field lines are going in this direction. Fine, correct, right and thumb rule. Maxwell corkscrew rule is, uh, so Aishwarya, don't worry about this. It's nothing, it's just an alternative of right hand thumb rule. It shows in which direction you tighten the screw. So it's okay, don't, don't think about it. You'll just be confused. Fine, guys, guys, focus, focus, focus. Right. And here current is going in this direction, means in this direction, okay, like this. So if you do this, 
at two or four places, you'll get to know in between it is a straight line, right? Yes. Are kya baat chal rahi? Guys, focus. Fine, 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 fine. Okay. So, what do we get? Magnetic field due to current carrying circular coil. If you have a coil like this, right? Which means, what will happen? Come on, tell me. If you apply the right hand thumb rule at these two places, you will get to know magnetic field lines are going in this direction. Now, I understand the one way I'm telling you right now. It's tedious, but it's something which you have learned. An alternate way, which I would don't want you to you know, apply in the exam, but this is like a shortcut. What you can do is, this current carrying coil is going in this direction, right? Curl your finger in the direction of current and thumb will give you magnetic field. It's an opposite. Don't be confused. If you are getting confused, don't apply it. But it's like a shortcut. Fine? Okay? Yes, Sukhjot. Correct. Nice. That's how you write the answer in the exam. Alright? So, next time. If you increase the magnitude of the current, you understand this. If we increase the magnitude of current, what happens? The the magnetic field strength increases, right? Correct? Yes, Ishart. Easy but interesting and important. That's that's the most important thing. So, magnetic field increases with increasing current and it increases with increasing number of turns. If you increase the number of turns of the coil, what will happen? It will increase the magnetic field strength, right? Huh, north or south pole of the loop? I'm coming to it. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm coming to it. Yes, solenoid. Right. So if it's just one loop, right? If it's just one loop and current is going like this, you have curled your fingers, or let's say I can I can do this, right? Here, current is going in this manner. It's telling me magnetic field lines are like this. If it is going here, I'll do all right. Fine. It is like this. It will tell me. Come on. Now. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Yes, it's not used on everyday basis. Correct. So if there is a coil like this and this is the current, if I turn my fingers towards the current and give you the thumb gives you the direction of magnetic field, what do you know about magnetic field lines? North, you know, outside the magnet, they come from north. Means if there is a loop in this manner, let's say, and you have just now understood magnetic field lines are going like this, means this, this side will be north. Fine, fine, okay. No, Baba. Today, Menti is not there. Today, it's only discussion of concept. But, ha, Monday, we'll deal with questions. Fine. <laughs> All right. So, you just came to know from this direction, fields are going out. That is north. And means on the opposite side, they are going in. That is going to be south. And don't worry. You will understand this. Yes, a solenoid acts with a bar magnet. So, with a solenoid, it will be more clear. Come on. Let's understand this. This is plus, this is minus. So you understood this here. It is going to be North Pole. Don't worry. We have that, we have that shortcut also. Strongest field in solenoid. This you know, right? In between. Constant and strongest in between. And a comment which just now came. It is similar to a bar magnet. I won't say exactly equal similar to a bar magnet and I if I remember correctly someone of you asked this in the comments last time so you know why do we say in the magnets case in a bar magnets why it is strongest at the poles why not in the middle you know why we never do this magnet is a solid object in solenoid you can go in the middle that's why fine so that's why all right oh nice Harry Minati so what do you get this is North Pole, this is South Pole. So they are similar to a bar magnet. So the term you will use is, yes, yeah, very good. Similar but not same. Magnetic field lines of a solenoid are similar to that of a bar magnet. Correct? And I think I'm getting answers. All right. Papia, you're not focusing, huh? Oh, it's okay, Shakti. Today, today, just focus on the concept because I'm telling you, this is a very important session and on Monday, we'll be discussing very good and, and a lot of questions. So, that'll be important. Core is coming, Swishti. This, it's, it's, you know, we are moving towards that part. All right, the factors affecting magnetic field strength. So, I got few of the answers in the chat, but something is still missing. Come on, come on, rest of the answers. So, one, someone told me reducing the radius. 
all right okay amount of current easy we understand this if you increase the current magnetic field trends increases right so nadish it's in the center i mean between the solenoid right correct nice sukhjot good elaborated answer yes number of turns yeah very good number of turns your answer is there correct coil work on two poles yeah coil also has two poles i mean it's similar to a bar magnet so from one side magnetic field lines are going out from another side they are going in similar to a bar magnet correct material number of turns right third one the very important one is inserting iron rod now this was your question i forgot the name sorry so the question was why it you know improves the magnetic field strength why someone gave me an answer it's ahead of your slippers but still i'll just tell you this increases the strength by focusing the field lines right the field lines are able to focus more through it and technical term i think uh, someone mentioned last time soft iron rod very good yes yes someone 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 it's okay so focus this the soft iron rod it helps to focus the field lines better yes it also magnetizes correct in a way it is correct i mean you'll go in class 11 you'll learn more about permeability and susceptibility and all these things but don't worry till here it's fine because it also magnetizes and it helps to focus the field lines better yes correct it becomes electromagnet yes you are right so magnetic field lines of current carrying conductors this is our learning till now right let's just focus it one more time straight wire we understand this concentric circles are the magnetic field lines in a circular coil it is in this manner right and we we know how to find the direction in both the cases right ha rishab it's a property of a material right more permeability don't worry in this class you don't need it but ha in future you'll you'll know this So, Rishab, I have answered your question. Yes, Sukhjot, correct. All right. So, and what is a solenoid? It is again multiple turns, right? A coil is there, but multiple coils are there. Similar. Nothing, nothing special in this. What we are going towards is now. This is new, guys. Focus, focus, focus. Yes. Ha, Eddie, correct? <laughs> you have gone too far ahead. Yes. Yes. Come on. Uh huh. Nice, Sukhjot is helping me out over there. <laughs> All right, come on. This is new. Hey, army public, Roshan. Force on a current carrying conductor in a magnetic field. What we are thinking now? If there is a current carrying wire in a magnetic field, we observe there is a force on that current carrying wire, right? Krishna, uh, I'm not sure, but ha, huh, very soon you'll get to uh, know this, uh, you know, through the notifications. Something we update on the channel. Don't worry. Papiya, what are you focusing on today? Come on, come on, guys. Thank you, Anna. Yes. So let's focus on the force. Ha, huh, kicking wire experiment. Yes. So what's going on? Our observation was there was a force on a current carrying wire in a magnetic field. All right. How? If you see this, uh, you see this setup, right? There is. this battery terminals connecting wires which means there is current in this wire that's for sure there is a magnetic field because there is a magnet right ready nice disha thank you yes so what happened when you turned when you turned the switch on this wire moved right direction is fine we'll discuss about it but first observation is there is a force on a current carrying wire in a magnetic field that is important fine all right if you interchange the terminals of the battery means if you change the direction of the current the force the direction in which this conductor is moving changes reverses i would say right yes yes correct sujot yes ashish correct all right all right nice nice answers i can see good ah uh, this is the most important question for exam yes weber <laughs> they focus on this a lot that's why i'm saying focus guys right cool 
फोर्स ऑन अ करंट कैरिंग कंडक्टर इन मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लेट्स डिस्कस दिस थिंग दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन कम फ्रॉम इट आउटसाइड सोलनॉइड आई कान से इट्स जीरो इट विल डिपेंड हाउ फार यू आर गोइंग सिमिलर टू अ बार मैगनेट राइट हाउ फार यू आर गोइंग राइट All right, all right. Come on, come on. Focus, focus. Let's let's move. So, displacement of the rod is maximum when the direction of current is perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field. What we did, you are a physicist. The person doing this was also a physicist. He started experimenting, right? He started doing multiple iterations. What was observed that when the field is perpendicular to current. Now, someone was asking me, what does inside mean and what does coming out mean? So, these symbols, x, x is mean it is going into the plane, right? and dots like this it means it is coming towards you like an arrow fine nice here all right yes yes left hand rule see here correct so maximum force was when the magnetic field was perpendicular to the current direction right to the current carrying wire right fine yes experiments which means you'll enjoy the uh, short series in, the, in this channel right all right next case 2 when the magnetic field is parallel to the current carrying wire it means there was zero force right no akshat uh, today menti is not there it's all about you and me discussing the magnetic effect of current right yes nice charvi <laughs> okay fenel you are emerging physicists right Oh, Rishav, it's behaving like a magnet. You, you know, you don't go into the middle of the earth. It's like a solid ball showing magnetic properties. It's like a magnet. Fine, okay. So this was Rishav's answer. Yes, come on. This is our observation. Now came the Fleming's left-hand rule. So we observations we did. Now let's understand how to examine in which direction the force will be applied. Right. So here comes FBI. What comes? F B I and a lot of you who are, you know, who watch a lot of movies, you would know what F B I actually means. But why we are using it here, you would understand. F is for force. B is for magnetic field. And I is for current. Right? Okay. Right? So if you want to find the force on a current conductor, whom to call? Call F B I. Right? What is FBI? FBI. This is F. This is B. This is I. Fine. Okay. Right. Yes. Scientist. Oh, for a moment I thought Stephen Fleming. <laughs> Sorry, Ashish. I'm not right now. I'm not recalling what the what the full name was. But ha. Huh, yes. What is happening? So if you have a current carrying wire, direction of current is this. Means this is the direction of current. All right. Direction of magnetic field is this. This is the direction of magnetic field. So current is this. Magnetic field is this. This will be the force. Means this will be force towards upwards, right? Direction of force will be upwards in this case. Fine. Yes, FBI. I mean, I just remember it like this. It's easy to you know remember. All right. Okay. <laughs> It's okay, Mahavir. So. rule clear the fbi force magnetic field and current now we are studying all this it must have some you know practical applications i mean what good is theory if you can't apply it in nature right and especially physics i mean whatever you do whatever you study it's going around you right correct yes <laughs> nice rishab so i'm glad it will help you out so what do you see over here if you bring a magnet and what is this blue colored line what is this blue colored line come on come on inside navin so what is this blue colored line come on come on tell me it's 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 sukhjot so, purpose is to find the force on the current carrying conductor in a magnetic field right so if there is a magnetic field and you have a current carrying conductor in this magnetic field you can find using the left hand rule the force on that conductor right ha 
it was no no charvi that's not light you can call it alpha particles you can call it electron beam you can call it anything but it's a charge particle ray right cathode ray tube and all these experiments have happened right yes electromagnetic induction is coming don't worry ha huh, cathode rays yes good good so if you bring a magnet closer to cathode rays what will happen it will deflect for sure it will deflect why sir current carrying wire and charge particle ray what is the similarity what is the similarity current carrying wire what does it have what is flowing electrons are flowing charges are flowing so what does it mean a flowing charge a moving charge will experience a force in a magnetic field right got this idea fine 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 correct all right yes yes charges are flowing that's the important thing to understand guys focus right now on this it's very important so got this got the understanding a lot of questions will ask you they won't tell you the current carrying wire is there or something they will tell you electron ray is going or alpha particle are going or positively charged ray is going and there is a magnetic field in which direction it will deflect it can happen right <laughs> all right ha uh, that was gold leaf electroscope experiment ah uh, other four sorry i just tend to confuse with this so electric motor let's talk applications because whatever you study it needs to be applied in the real world i mean theory is fine how can you apply it that's the question electric motor comes into picture so what happens here it is a device that converts electrical energy to mechanical energy and that's correct why right you are providing it electricity you are giving it electrical energy what it's giving you back it's giving you motion it's giving you mechanical energy and that's important right yes sukhjot correct ha diksha don't worry so lth left hand rule you will understand to find the force on a current carrying conductor right so that is the right uh, left hand fine right hand i'm coming to it don't worry don't worry theek okay? hai and i have i have a way of remembering that as well i don't know how many of you have seen mib have you seen mib movie men in black so i have a way of remembering it from that so don't worry yes can you find the direction of the force on this conduct, uh, conductor so it's a very quick check i want to do come on come on it's okay kashish let's do this tell me what will be direction of force on this conductor i'll give you two options then come on come on i'll i'll be quick up or down ha so udaya that's a convention all right so when they found current they thought it is the positive charge moving so they made all the laws all the things based on that nice nice okay right but it it was found later when jj thompson found electrons no it's the electron that move but they thought it's okay like you know it doesn't hamper anything that's fine so all the laws kept in that manner right thank you gaming gangster nice upward is the answer how you found it come on got this someone was asking me uh, the the left hand rule magnetic field north to south all right north to south then current plus 2 minus all right current is here means force is upwards that's it fine simple so i can do this force is going to be up linear so what is up linear motion right if this this wire will tend to move up now tell me neutrons are uncharged moving charged particle i'm saying fine so come on in this case what will happen this is plus this is minus here current is going in this manner here current is coming in this manner so what will happen kashik don't worry lens law it's it's not for today snell's law going towards light ah huh? come on come on come on ha ah, principle of electric motor it will come it will come it will come sukhjot aa raha aa raha it's all coming it's possible because guys come on tell me what will happen to this this condition this condition north and south pole are separate come on every small atom has it yes 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 ha all right i can understand you are telling me it will rotate clockwise so why you understood if current is going like this force will be up if current is going like this force will be down here it is up 
here it is down it will rotate it will rotate clockwise correct right and we call it turning force right so what happened over here in this case force is upwards that we have understood in this case force is downwards and this is how i am showing you how to use your hands right how to use the left hand rule fine yes okay yes okay so हिंदी इंग्लिश इट्स ओके यार आई ट्राई टू कीप अ बैलेंस लेकिन क्या होता है कि हिंदी वाले फिर भी इंग्लिश समझ सकते हैं बट पीपल हु आर लर्निंग इन इंग्लिश दे आर नॉट एबल अंडरस्टैंड दिस ओके एंड यू नो वी लिव इन इंडिया सो दैट्स दैट्स फाइन एंड वी आर लर्निंग इन टू इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल सो दैट्स फाइन सो ठीक है अंडरस्टैंड दिस डाउनवर्ड फोर्स ऑन सी डी इट्स अ टर्निंग फोर्स मीन्स दिस कंडक्टर शुड टर्न क्लॉक वाइज दैट्स माई अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड दैट्स फाइन ऑल्सो but the thing is when it will turn right when it will turn let's say this turns like this after half a turn what will happen what will happen tell me after half a turn the current which is going inside it will always face a force upwards if this come here it will just keep on doing this na oscillation right not necessary it is maximum uh, uh, Nisha, sorry. Yes, correct. So the thing is, if you keep on maintaining the direction of the current as it started, it will keep on doing the reverse direction. Keep on oscillating. You can't do that. You need somehow a way. Yes, Sukhjot, I think you got the answer. You somehow need a way in which you can maintain the current. on the left side coil it should always be inside on the right side coil it should always be on the right side wire it should always be inside so that you you somehow maintain this balance right up and down always that's why you will maintain a constant ha huh, nice nice arindam very good very good guys you are getting the answers a device that reverses the direction of electric current after each half rotation is called as commutator right it's called a commutator now let me let me show you how it works yes very good tanushree correct split rings you're right so what's happening now instead of doing just one connections you made this commutator and it rotates all together fine so why at half rotation what's going to happen see always always this end this end is the negative this end is positive always right so whatever change happens whatever rotation happens the current direction will be maintained and and the direction of force will be maintained in this manner right ha ah, it reverses the direction of current at each half cycle correct nice so this is called as split ring commutator and these are the carbon brush contact between commutator and external circuit yes yes kind of weber in a coil you know we a technical term will come armature will come yeah but for starters we can call it a coil all right jab brushes touch nahi hoga jab brushes touch nahi hoga tab unko bolte hain wear and tear ho jata hai brush ka right they are not able to touch ghis jate hain you have to change the brushes so fine all right so what is a commercial motor then it uses electromagnets large number of turns and an armature so your question is there can we call it a coil for starting you can call it a coil but if you want to be technical we call it an armature fine yes coil wound on a soft iron core to increase power we read this how to increase the magnetic field strength right how to be how to make it more effective insert a soft iron core fine yeah all right okay so commercial motors are done force on a current carrying conductor we have learned this much right we are just recalling it come on come on come on guys fast 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 right there is a force on the current carrying conductor which give which rule gives me the direction of force the left hand thumb rule fine correct disha yeah left hand is is good enough right otherwise if you confuse between left and right na you will find the direction opposite so 
left hand thumb rule to find the force call FBI if you want to find the force on a current carrying conductor and the application is electric motor fine all right split ring in electric motor split ring ka role kya hai it reverses the direction of current at each half cycle why because on the left side you always want the current to go in this direction on the right side you always want current to come in this direction but what will happen if you don't change the terminals at each half cycle this will go like this right take take this example this is going inwards this is going outwards if i change it force will change na so i always want this to happen like this oh my god i will untangle my hands <laughs> all right oh ac or dc it's 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 a question for another day i would say navin not today because you know let's let's finish it first all right now we understood a lot till now right what did we understood fine we got the magnetic fields current and magnetic field is related so current is related to magnetic field who found ersted but you know what magnetic field is also related to current it is faraday's experiment so how does it change guys understand this one very simple rule first of all right understand understand come on come on come on focus 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 so how will it change you should have a relative motion between the magnet and the coil first of all this is important right why i am saying relative motion if this is the coil and this is the magnet it shouldn't go like this if you say motion is required both are moving right relative motion is required right this is important so relative motion is the word first of all tick second how you can how you can make current flow in the coil by by making the magnet move with respect to the coil either it is moving towards the coil there will be a deflection in one direction that's fine ha huh. yes yeah you got the you got the word charvi see yeah, good yes and second way is the magnet can be moving up, uh, away or you know far from the coil yes yes so you got two ways news creators right till now <laughs> all right ishab so when coil is moved towards magnet i told you there should be a little movement fine if you move the coil fine if you move the coil away that's also fine right come on got this so electromagnetic induction emi we call it conductor moved in magnetic field and conductor placed in changing magnetic field this is also possible so in both the cases you will get an induced current induced means what is the meaning of induced i induced you right because of me you got something this is called as induced or induction theek hai okay once again you got it disha if let's say i need some help ha huh? if this is the coil and this is the magnet there should be a relative motion between these two matlab these two can't move like this no induction no no current will be induced it should be moving relatively you can move the magnet close until unless the magnet is moving current induction will be there it can move back two ways or you can bring the coil close or bring the coil away same fine theek hai yes now another one more layer one more layer of understanding so till now you got if you change the magnetic field lines around a coil current will be induced right theek hai <laughs> focus guys come on so <laughs> there will be a induction of current correct hai na now you know that a solenoid is also like a bar magnet it behaves similar to a bar magnet so what is happening over here this coil is connected with a source fine now if you turn the current in one coil means suddenly there are magnetic field lines means this coil for this coil it is like a change in magnetic field lines means current induction will be there but until unless this current is flowing constantly there will be no current the moment you turn it off current so two ways theek hai yes galvanometer shows presence of current very good so two ways two ways come on come on focus 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 what's happening the moment you turn current in this coil there will be indu induced current in this in one direction when you turn this off again current will be induced in opposite direction but sir if we maintain the current if we just keep the switch on in this coil will there be current no that's a no fine theek hai got this thing clearly yes and this all comes under electromagnetic induction fine all right 
Now, now comes a question. So, someone was asking me difference between left hand and right hand, right? Let me tell you. Guys, 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 focus. So, let me tell you. We understood if there is a current carrying wire in a magnetic field, it will be a force. You will call FBI. You will call F, B and I. Fine. Hai na? Yes. Yes, Naveen. Correct, correct, correct. Fine. Right. So, this is something we have learned. All right. We have also learned what is electromagnetic induction. That is also fine. Now, comes a question. Sir, if there is if there is a magnetic field lines, fine. If there is a current carry, if, if there is a wire, a conductor, and it is moving, it is moving, then, then, come on. Why? Why? Because a coil needs changing magnetic field lines, right? The moment you turn the current in this, it will, it will sense a change in magnetic field lines. It will tell current is there. The moment you turn it off, there is again a change. It means there is there is current again. Fine. Okay. Ha. Yes. Now we are talking about if the conductor is moving, right? It is moving in a magnetic field. What will be the induced current? Okay. Guys, focus. I know this can be confusing. Understand this very properly. There is magnetic field lines. There is a moving conductor in that magnetic field. We are understanding how to find the direction of induced current. Okay. Force ke liye. For force, you will call FBI. For motion, for motion, you will call MIB. My way of understanding. And you know what? MIB, if I tell you, they used to deal with aliens. No. So it's a superior thing. So right hand, right hand is superior. For motion, I'll call MIB. For force, I'll call FBI. Take care. So who will you call? You will call MIB. What is MIB? M is for motion. This is the motion of the conductor. And index finger is always magnetic field. Don't worry about this. Index finger is always magnetic field. Take this is magnetic field. This is motion. Where will the current be induced? In this direction. Here also it was current. Na? The only difference is this was force. This is motion, right? Whenever you want to find force, call FBI. Okay. Motion of a conductor is given. Call MIB. That's fine. It's okay. Take care. All right. Got this. So this is motion. This is magnetic field line. This is direction of current carrying wire and all this is going into electromagnetic induction right so oh let's take a break i'll just give you this homework question and this question is not difficult i'm understanding you can give me the answer right now but still if you want read the question i'm giving you 30 seconds read the question and you can answer it in the chat if you can answer now, that's fine. If you can answer in the chat, better. Because it was supposed to be a homework question. But the way we have learned, I understand you can answer it today. Ha, yes, Vabhav, correct. Okay. I can see some answers are coming. Ha, so Disha, MIB? M is for motion, right? MIB, right hand for motion. FBI, force for left hand, right? Force on a current carrying wire, this motion, because of motion, the current induced this, fine. All right, all right. I won't tell you the correct answer. I won't tell you. You can put it in the in the chat so that we'll know how many of you got the correct answer, right? Da, option dalna hai? Just put the option in the comments, that's it. So with this, I would say we've got you covered. And whatever we have learned today, I would want you to practice that. I would want you to revise that because on Monday we'll be dealing with questions. I understand this is an important topic. That's why we need to practice good questions. And that's exactly what we'll do on Monday. So come prepared. All right. Good evening. Yes. Good evening. So guys, like, share, subscribe. If you feel it's helpful, do these things and you know, we'll keep doing what's best for you. All right. Thank you. Take care and stay safe.